Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, isosceles uh, triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular uh, AD as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, these uh, two side lengths uh, AB and uh, AC are uh, equal in length and the perpendicular uh, AD is uh, 15 units long and furthermore uh, the perimeter of this uh, triangle has been given to us as uh, 50 units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here is our very first step since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, given triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times base times the height and in our case uh, this uh, side uh, BC is the base uh, of this uh, triangle whereas uh, this perpendicular AD is the height uh, of this uh, triangle as well and our height is 15 units so therefore now our task is to calculate the base uh, of this uh, triangle and now let's go over the basics uh, of an isosceles uh, triangle as you can see in this given diagram we can see these uh, two side lengths uh, are equal and this is uh, our perpendicular then these uh, two horizontal segments uh, this segment uh, and this segment uh, they are going to be equal uh, in length and since we are dealing with this uh, isosceles triangle ABC so therefore uh, this uh, BD segment uh, is going to be equal to this segment uh, CD that means this uh, segment is going to be equal to this segment if I label uh, this segment uh, BD as uh, lowercase x then this uh, segment CD is going to be lowercase x as well and furthermore uh, if I label uh, this side AB as uh, lowercase a then this uh, other side uh, AC is going to be lowercase a as well and bear in mind that this whole uh, BC length is going to be the sum of these two individual uh, lengths uh, x and x that is going to make it uh, 2 times x and now we know that the perimeter of this uh, triangle is uh, 15 units and the perimeter is always the sum of all uh, these uh, side uh, lengths all of them so therefore if we add this side length uh, this side length uh, and this side length uh, that must be equal to 50 so therefore I can write uh, lowercase a plus uh, lowercase a plus uh, 2 times x uh, is going to be equal to the perimeter which is uh, 50 and now we are going to combine these uh, like terms so therefore we can write uh, 2 times a plus uh, 2 times x is going to be equal to 50 and now I can divide uh, across the board by 2 since all of them are divisible by 2 obviously so therefore uh, lowercase a plus uh, x uh, turns out to be equal to 25 and now I am going to move this uh, x uh, in the other direction so therefore our lowercase a could be written as uh, 25 uh, minus uh, x and I'm going to label this one uh, as our equation number one and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABD and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, this lowercase a is the hypotenuse whereas our two other legs are uh, x uh, and uh, 15 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we can write uh, x uh, square plus uh, 15 uh, square is going to be equal to our hypotenuse is uh, a square and now let's focus on this uh, equation one our lowercase uh, a is equal to 
25 minus x so therefore i'm going to substitute uh, a as uh, 25 minus x uh, over here so therefore we can write this thing as x square plus uh, 225 is going to be equal to after the substitution that is going to become 25 minus x whole square and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus uh, 2 times a b plus uh, b square we are going to apply it on this binomial on the right hand side of this equation so therefore we can write this whole thing uh, x square plus uh, 225 is going to be equal to after we apply that identity that is going to give us uh, 625 minus uh, 50 times uh, x plus uh, x square and now we can see this x square and this x square on both sides they are gone and now i'm going to move this uh, 50x uh, to the left hand side and at the very same time i'm going to move this 225 in the opposite uh, direction so therefore we can write uh, 50 times uh, x is going to be equal to 625 minus uh, 225 so therefore uh, we are ended up with 50 times uh, x equal to 4 uh, hundred and now we are going to divide both sides by 50 to isolate x so this 50 and 50 is gone so therefore uh, our x value turns out to be equal to 8 units so thus our uh, x value turns out to be 8 units in other words uh, this segment uh, bd which is x is going to be 8 units and likewise cd segment is going to be 8 units as well so therefore uh, this whole uh, base uh, bc length is going to be 8 uh, plus 8 is going to give us uh, 16 units and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, abc and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again area is equal to a half times base times the height and in our case uh, the base uh, of this uh, triangle is 16 units whereas the height uh, of uh, this uh, triangle is 15 units so therefore the area of this uh, triangle abc is going to be a half uh, times uh, the base is uh, 16 times the height is uh, 15 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side the area of this uh, triangle is going to be 120 square uh, units so thus the area of this triangle abc turns out to be 120 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye